The prosecution rests in the case against a former Idaho lawmaker charged with raping a state house intern last spring. Thanks for watching Idaho News 6 this evening. I'm Don Nelson. And I'm Karen Larry, the victim in the case, taking the stand briefly today before telling the judge she could not continue and exiting the courtroom. Proceedings moving along faster than expected, with jury deliberations possible as soon as tomorrow. Our Jake Garcia was inside the courtroom and has more from today's testimony and what's next. The day started with testimony about the rape kit collection process and the investigation, but it's what happened toward the end of the day that may make or break this case. Multiple witnesses were called to the stand today, including two detectives, a technician with the Idaho State Police Forensics Lab that testified that all the swabs had male DNA present, but only one had enough to be sent for testing to be compared with samples Von Ellinger gave police. Jane Doe's mom also took the stand recounting a phone call she had with her daughter describing her as afraid and broken while speaking in a whisper, which was out of character. Before court broke for lunch, the assistant sergeant of arms for the House of Representatives recalled the conversation Doe had with her about the alleged assault, saying she was anxious, fidgeting and quiet. After lunch, Jane Doe took the witness stand describing what she did at the state house. When the prosecutor asked her about how the reported assault started, Jane Doe became visibly anxious, taking long pauses while trying to answer. The prosecutor asked her to look at her and take a deep breath. After answering the question, Doe began to look for the exit doors near her and looked at members of the press before she turned to Judge Reardon saying, I can't do this and left the room. Reardon asked that her testimony be removed from the record and told jurors they cannot consider her testimony or appearance in further deliberation like it didn't happen at all. Though the defense didn't get a chance to cross-examine Jane Doe, Von Ellinger's attorney says he will not file for a mistrial. With the prosecution resting its case, now the question becomes what will the defense do next and will Von Ellinger take the witness stand? At the Ada County Courthouse, Jake Garcia, Idaho News 6. Court is expected to resume tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. And for more coverage on the trial so far, you can head to our website, IdahoNews6.com.